Hi, I'm Kevin O'Hanlon. Today I'm going to teach you how to tie the Mrs. Simpson. It is a lure that we use in New Zealand to fish at night time, representing a small bait fish called a cocklebully. Trout just love them, and this lure is absolutely Firstly, deadly. We lay down a bed of thread, leaving about two or three mils from the eye, clear so we can form a nice neat head later. And then proceed to wind along the hook shank towards the, the bend in the hook. Cut off the tag as you go and form a nice even bed of thread along the hook shank until you get to the hook bend. Okay, then we grab a bunch of black squirrel tail or black marabou if you desire, equally as good. And I want to tie in a tail about the same length as the hook shank. Secure that. Okay, nice even fashion, keeping it all nice and neat, like so. Right back along, covering all those squirrel fibers until we get to the beginning where we started. Now what I'll, what I'll do is I'll grab some red wool, tie that in at the start point, and head back towards the bend in the hook. Okay, with loose, with well spaced turns of thread, just to secure that wool in place. A few extra wraps up the tail there, so it's not going to slip anywhere. I'll cover that with some cement, and that'll soak down into the wool and the squirrel tail and the thread, and they'll harden up, and that'll leave it all nicely tight, nice and neatly bound and secure so it's not going to go anywhere. Okay now I'll grab some lead wire because I want this one to sink and I'll just loosely put some lead wire on. Don't have to be too much, just enough to get it down. Okay, like so. Use your discretion when it comes to weighting your flies. Some of them I tie, I don't put any weight in them at all. All depends on how I'm going to fish the fly. Okay, now I'll bring my thread back to the eye over the top of that lead, binding it in place. Okay, back to the start point. Grab my red wool. Okay, and nice even turns, butting up hard against each other. I'll bring that back to the start point. Now, this particular one is I'm using red wool, but you can use yellow. But as a rule, red at night. In yellow during the day when it comes to body colours and I only fish these flies at night time. Okay, secure that wool with a couple of turns of thread, trim off the excess, grab two pheasant feathers from the saddle of a pheasant, lay them in along the shank, not on top, but along the edge in colour fashion and secure them with a couple of turns of thread. Okay, just get them on the hook. We can get them sitting in the right place when we're forming the head properly. Two more go on the other side, like so. Secure them also. Okay, trim off the excess. Alright, pull the fe feathers into position where we want them to sit and form a nice neat head binding those feathers into position. Okay. Back to the start, to the eye. Right. I get my whip finish tool. Three or four wraps of the whip finish back towards the feathers. I don't want to form a big bulky head, so I want my thread evenly spread out. Tie it off. Trim off the excess thread. A little bit of head cement to hold it all together, stop that thread from uh, slipping or unwinding or unraveling or whatever. Just secures your fly a little bit more. Okay, and there we have it. Size 6, Mr. Simpson. 
fantastic night fly in, fly in New Zealand for using uh, tar targeting uh, cockabully feeding trout, especially sea run trout at night time.